How to use ChatGPT agent mode step by step. Hello everyone and welcome back. Now we all have heard about ChatGPT and how amazing it is, but if you use agent mode, you can do so much more and you're able to make detailed reports, slides, as well as anything that comes to mind. Whether you're trying to research and find data within your own documentation or if you want data to be graphed from all over the internet or the web, you can do that with ChatGPT's agent mode. So let's jump right in. To do this, just log on to your ChatGPT account. Now for this, you do need to upgrade and ChatGPT has three plans, the free, plus, and pro. The plus plan is $20 and the pro is $200 per month. So I have upgraded to the plus plan. You can click on upgrade, which would be appearing on the top of your screen to upgrade your account. Once you do that, you're going to click on the tools icon on the bottom left of your prompt box. So once you click on tools, you're going to see agent mode. So you're going to click on agent mode over here. There are some suggested queries that you can get started with. So including building a discounted cash flow model for NVDA, order fresh flowers for a friend's birthday, create a list on Google Maps of the best Copenhagen bakeries, analyze, you know, some any type of topic. So I want to go with action. Actions. And I'm going to show you guys an example of actions and I already have created an example of reporting as well. So I want to find the or top five highest rated restaurants in Toronto. And I'm just going to proceed with my query over here. Now it is going to create a list for me. Now this can truly be any type of query. You can, uh, you know, you don't necessarily have to follow whatever the prompt suggests. We can create whatever query we want and it will be able to answer accordingly. Now, one other thing you can do in Agent is that you can go into sources and you can connect your own Gmail, GitHub, Dropbox, Canva box, and you can even search with the web and this allows you to actually analyze and do things in a simpler way if i want to track any billings that i've received in my mailbox instead of having to go through everything myself i can use chat gpt to do this for me and the ai agent will do it for me now going back we're gonna take a look at one of our other examples that i've created so starting off we're gonna go with an example over here where we have fashion sustainability analysis now within this i asked the ai agent to track the five-year financial financial and environmental outcomes of building a 50 item wardrobe via ultra fast fashion retailers versus slow certified fashion brands. Then after that, I can calculate the garment lifespans, repair costs, as well as CO2 emissions per wear, microfiber pollution, and deliver a decision matrix that balances style turnover desires with sustainability goals. After that, it uh, asked me two more questions as a follow-up. I just proceeded with an auto-response of continue. Uh, you can provide an answer, but I prompted not to. And then it took seven minutes to create the entire report for me. So first off, it's showing me some evidence on garment lifespans and environmental input and then assumptions used for the five-year wardrobe within that they have a parameter a ultra fast fashion cost certified slow and then it also included a third category of secondhand platforms and it produced a very detailed report of the typical price per garment average lifespan carbon emissions per wear microfiber release per wear repair cost per item as well as the style turnover now if we scroll down then it did some calculations and it showed us some detailed results so this is for all three types of fashion including fast certified slow and second hand as well as a interpretation of our decision matrix below that it asked if style turnover and price are primary concerns for consumers seeking durability for the lowest carbon footprint and then at the bottom it had created a small conclusion for us after it created this report for me i asked the ai agent to make a slide version so to make slides from the report and make them concise now i did interrupted midway after 14 minutes to adjust the slides so this is what the slides look like over here and we can see the slides look pretty nice i do think that if i let it do its entire thing the slides would have been improved upon you guys can see the text is overlapping in the first slide but if i did let it you know process everything by its own it would be able to create some really beautiful slides with information and to make them visually very stunning as well 
Now over here, you guys can see this is our current ongoing query where it needs to find the top five highest rated restaurants in Toronto. So it's looking up the highest rated restaurants. It's going to gather current ratings and provide their names along with details. And it's currently gathering all the details that it requires. So in the meanwhile, I want to discuss pricing with you guys on ChatGPT. Now, we are going to primarily be taking a look at Plus in Pro because that is where you can actually use the AI agent. First off, within the Plus plan, you have limited access to Sora video generation and you do have access to AI agent with multiple reasoning models, access to their research preview of GPT 4.0, their largest model, and 4.1, which is optimized for coding tasks. And you have standard and advanced voice mode with video and screen sharing. Then on the Pro, you have everything in Plus, including unlimited and extended access to ChatGPT's agent and more. Now, within this version of your plan, the Plus plan, you do have a limit on the number of queries you can ask the AI agent. So you have 40 queries every month. And after that, you're going to have to either upgrade or purchase more credits or wait for the next turnover of your credits in the next month. So this is what it has created for me. The top five restaurants. So we have Allo, Edelis, Restaurant 20 Victoria, and Quetzal. Now it has shown me the cuisine and style, the Michelin rating, all of them are one star Michelins, and then Canada's 100 best rating, and all of them are within the top 100, and then evidence on the right. So it is giving me evidence and it's giving me the vibe or whatever I should be expecting from all of this every month, uh, every single visit, or you know, whatever type of uh, quality I should be expecting. Now, these are just some general queries. If you want to upgrade your AI agent mode use, I definitely recommend going into sources and connecting one of your sources. You can click on continue to Google, and then I can select my Google account that I want to connect. This can make your daily tasks really easy and simplify a lot of things for you. And I'm going to click on continue, and from here, my Gmail is connected. Now, again, it is going to say that there are some privacy risks with connectors, but that's all right with me. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to find any emails related to billing. And then I have my sources selected. I'm going to turn off web searching for my sources and then just proceed. And now I can view all of my billing related emails. So if you're looking for a certain email, if you're looking to organize tasks, you can connect them with those sources here and you're easily able to do that. If you have reports, if you have company data, which you're trying to analyze and build reports off of, you can also use that over here as well. Now, this is how you can get started with ChatGPT's AI agent. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you found them helpful, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out other videos. And if you feel like some other video might be helpful to someone else, make sure to share our videos with your friends and family as well. And if you find that there is something missing, I will try to figure out a way to integrate more accurate content according to your needs onto the channel. Channel, so make sure to tell me if you find anything missing. So that was it for today. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.